Hello everyone, this is Daily Developing and today we're going to solve an interview question that was asked by Facebook. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So our problem is, this is the problem that was asked by Facebook. Given a string of parentheses, find the balanced string that can be produced from it using the minimum number of insertions and deletions. If there are multiple solutions, return any of them. For example, if we're given this type of string, as we see, we have the, we have here uh, two open parentheses, one closed parentheses. So what we could do is we could add a closed parentheses, let's say, to make sure it's completed, right? So we could return this, or we could return something like this, right? So we could um, add one parenthesis here. Uh, both of them would work. Now, if we are given something like this type of parentheses, right? We need to return this guy right here. So in essence, we're just given a string that doesn't have equal number of open and closed parentheses. And we just have to make sure we have to add, add them in a way that it would make sense. So as always, I'm going to encourage you guys to stop the video and try to solve it yourself and then come back to me. Okay. So if you haven't paused the video yet, do so now because I'm going to go over the solution. So first, let's, let me create um, a function called add parentheses. It will take input. Uh, let's pass this for right now. Let's print add parentheses. And let's make this our input. So how are we going to solve it? Um, all right, let's first take take this these parentheses, um, right, and look at them. So what happens is we have we will start iterating through the inputs, okay? Let's create the two variables called open and closed, and let's assign that to zero for right now. Now, let's actually start going through each character in the string. Let's go to first character. So now, as we see in, in this case, we have one closed parentheses, but zero opened, and we can't have that. It, at no point in time can we have closed parentheses outnumbering open parentheses. So what we do is we need to insert one open parentheses before, right? So now we have, okay, one open and one closed. That way, uh, open parentheses is more than or equal to closed parentheses. Again, the main thing is closed parentheses cannot outnumber open parentheses. All right, now let's go to next. Again, now the closed parentheses, number of closed parentheses is two, well, we only have one open parentheses. Again, closed parentheses are outnumbering open parentheses. We cannot have that. So let's insert additional uh, open parentheses before. All right, now it's two, two, now it's equal. All right, let's go. So now we have three open and two closed, but that's okay because uh, we will close all the parentheses at the end. So we don't have to worry about closing it because as we know, right, just because currently open parentheses are outnumbering closed parentheses doesn't mean anything. We can always close it later on. Let's continue. Okay, three, three. So now it's balanced. Let's go next. Okay, now as we see open parentheses are outnumbering closed parentheses, but this is the end of the string. So what we do once we finish iterating through the string, once we finish, we just have to add as many closed parentheses as necessary to make sure they're equal. Okay, so uh, for example, if we had, let's say 10 open parentheses and only three closed parentheses, we're going to add those seven parentheses. We're gonna add, add seven more closed parentheses at the end, all right? So we, we wait before we add closed parentheses. We only add closed parentheses at the very end while we add the open parentheses immediately. All right, so immediately after we see, all right, you know what, closed parentheses are outnumbering open ones. Okay, we have to immediately insert an open one uh, right before that parenthesis. But for the closed parentheses, we just have to wait until the end. All right, so now let's come back here and let's try to pretty much write this logic. So first thing I would like to do is let's create those two variables, open and closed variables, and they will start with zero. Now let's make the answer this is the one that we're going to be returning in the end. Okay, so 
how are we supposed to now take the input that will have uneven number of open and closed parentheses and make sure we turn them programmatically. First thing that I would like to do is let's create a for loop that will iterate through all the characters in the string. Now, if i equals to an open parenthesis, then we just do open plus equals to one. Let's add one to open parentheses. Now, if, you know, else like if i equals to close parenthesis, well, now the, for the counter for the close parenthesis goes up. Now what we do is, again, we have to check, make sure that close parentheses don't outnumber open parentheses. So what we do here is if close is more than open, well, we cannot have that. So let's just do enter plus equals to open. Now let's do open plus equals to one. And at the end, just open plus equals to i. All right. So in essence, what, what this if statement does is, okay, we need to we need to add this i, right? We need to add this i to the answer. But this if statement comes before it because what if this i is a closed parenthesis? So then first we need to insert the open parenthesis and then we can insert this closed parenthesis right here, right? So again, uh, in here we just count. Now, if they outnumber it, we have to, we must make sure to insert the open parenthesis before we insert the closed parenthesis. But if it's already open and if we don't have to insert this guy at all, if they don't out outnumber anything, then we can just add close parenthesis or open parenthesis immediately. Okay, so that way we, we will make sure that there is at no point in time close parenthesis without not where open parenthesis, right? Now, after the loop though, we, we still can have more open parentheses than closed ones. So how do we do this? Let's do while open is more than closed. And let's make, um, let's do the answer. Plus equal to the closed parentheses and then closed plus equals to one. Okay, so for example, if at the end we have 10 open ones, but only three closed ones, right? This while loop will add seven closed ones. It'll keep adding until these two are equal. And then it's going to return the answer. So let's let's run this. Um, sorry, there was a mistake here. It's not open plus equals to i, it's the answer plus equals to i. So in this case, right, the answer is where we actually keep the open and close parentheses, and that the open one is just a number, right? So my bad here. All right, so here it works. It works just exactly like we expected. Now let's, let's for example, give it this input and run it. Okay, so it closed it up and it returned the answer. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put a thumbs up because it helps me the YouTube algorithm. And uh, make sure to subscribe. I post uh, these interview questions weekly. So make sure to practice. And, have, and see you next time.